the Ford Fiesta is by far the UK's best-selling car. In this latest Car Gurus used car review, we'll tell you what to look for if you're in the market for one. The car we are concentrating on is the Mark 7 Fiesta and was sold between 2008 and 2017 with a midlife facelift in 2013 that introduced a larger grille and Ford's one litre EcoBoost engine. All versions are renowned for being brilliant to drive. By brilliant, we're not just talking about by super mini standards either, because actually the Fiesta is better to drive than many cars costing three or even four times the price. For that, you can thank a combination of really crisp handling, great body control, a comfortable ride, and particularly nice steering. It really is fantastic, and that is regardless of which model you go for as well. The interior is also nicely designed, well-built and easy to use, if a little button-tastic around the stereo controls. Speaking of the stereo, make sure it works as part of your test drive as it has been known to play up. Now, obviously you wouldn't expect a super mini like the Fiesta to be as spacious as a full-size family car. I'm five foot 11, this driver's seat is set for me and my knees are just pushing against the seat in front. It's not a disaster by any stretch, um, and headroom is good. This middle seat is obviously rather narrow, but you do get Isofix mounting points on these outer two seats, so it's good if you want to clip in a child seat. As you'd expect, the rear seats fold down to increase luggage space, while if you have the optional variable height floor, you can create a flat load bay too. Right, let's have a look at the boot space. Now, the Fiesta, does have just about enough room to get a baby buggy in. You probably have to take a wheel off in order to get it to lie flat, but it can be done. But for a weekly shop or something like that, it's absolutely fine. It is worth noting though, that if having a big boot in a small car is your priority, then a Skoda Fabia of the same vintage is gonna be roomier still. With the Fiesta having been built over a relatively long period of time, there are a vast range of engines and trim levels to choose from. Most though are powered by petrol just because small cars like this don't tend to be bought by people who are doing lots of motorway miles. Of those petrol engines, the cheapest is Ford's 1.25 litre unit. Although down on power, it's actually still a charming little engine that likes to be revved. But for most people, it'll still be worth upgrading to the 1.6 litre petrol or the later 1 litre EcoBoost Turbo, both of which are usefully more flexible. Another good thing about choosing a one litre Fiesta like this is that they're almost all free to tax and if they're not it's no more than £20 a year adding to the low overall running costs. What's more the timing belt in the one litre only needs to be changed every 10 years or 150,000 miles whereas for other petrol Fiestas you need to do it every 8 years or 100,000 miles. As for things to look out for, check the footwells are dry because some Fiestas have been known to leak, that the door seals are securely fixed and that the clutch in EcoBoost models has a definite bite point and doesn't give off a burning smell when used. Now Fiestas tend to be driven quite a lot in urban environments and that can mean things like curved wheels. So just have a good look at them, check the bodywork as well for any dings or scratches. In terms of ride and handling and engines, the Fiestas should feel very responsive if not suspect something is wrong. It might be that uh, on early cars in particular, the wheels could sometimes buckle. So if you feel that when you're driving, suspect a problem. With a car as popular as the Fiesta, you're that much more likely to find one that has been poorly maintained or has a hidden past. That's why it's so important to find a dealer you feel you can trust, as well as looking for a full service history using online MOT records to verify mileage. And if you're still not sure, paying for a vehicle history check. Naturally, you'll also want to know you're paying a fair price, which is where CarGuru's unique algorithm comes in by analysing prices of similar Fiestas for sale within your area to tell you what represents a good deal. The really compelling thing about shopping for a used Ford Fiesta, you know, aside from the fact that they're great value for money, brilliant to drive and very affordable to run, is that there are loads to choose from. So if the one you're looking at isn't quite right, just go to the next one instead. When you do find the right Fiesta for you, you'll have one of the best used cars on the market, reinforcing exactly why they are so popular. Or, if the Ford doesn't float your boat, 
be sure to check out our other used car reviews on the CarGurus UK YouTube channel and we'd love it if you subscribed so we can keep you up to date when the new videos go live.